Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Arizona Pain Network. The topic today is the basics of celiac plexus blocks. What exactly is a celiac plexus block? Well, it's an outpatient procedure used for pain relief for abdominal conditions such as pancreatitis, cancer, Crohn's disease, inflammatory bowel, and more, irritable bowel. It can also help provide diagnostic diagnostic information, so it really does have two purposes, both diagnostic and therapeutic. It can prevent the nerves of the abdominal plexus from transmitting pain signals to the brain and being great for pain relief. What exactly is the celiac plexus? It is a bundle of nerves in front of the diaphragm and right in back of the stomach near the aorta and surrounding the celiac artery. So as you can see here, it's a large plexus of nerves that supplies sensation to a lot of organs in the abdominal area. Esophagus, um, liver, spleen, pancreas, kidneys, stomach, small bowel. Um, so because of that, it can, if it's blocked, it can give a lot of pain relief to any one of those areas. So who does well with a celiac plexus block? When a person is having pain from any one of the abdominal organism, organs, the celiac plexus block may relieve the discomfort. This could be anything from pancreatitis, pancreatic cancer, any other upper abdominal cancers, any chronic abdominal pain, you know, such as um, irritable bowel, inflammatory bowel, uh, scar tissue from a previous abdominal surgery. How is the injection performed? It's an outpatient procedure. The patient lays prone down on their stomach and they receive local and IV sedation. They don't need to be put out for the procedure. Okay. Uh, the pain management doctor will use two separate needles with image guidance. Here you have a CAT scan. You really don't need that. Uh, you can see the kidneys here. But basically there'll be a needle put in on either side, you know, around the spine into where the celiac plexus is, but fluoroscopy, which is a real-time x-ray, is what's most commonly used. And once the doctor has the needle into the area where they want, they will inject dye to make sure they're not in a blood vessel and that they like the positioning. Once they're satisfied, they will put uh, numbing medicine um, along with maybe some steroid medicine or possibly phenol, which is a type of alcohol that can give, it can deaden the plexus and give months of uh, pain relief. Are there risks with the procedure? The answer is yes, there are risks. They are small but real. There's a risk of infection, possible nerve injury, bleeding, anesthesia complication. Um, if the pain doctor is not careful, you can end up with a collapsed lung. Uh, also, what's seen sometimes is transient uh, low blood pressure or diarrhea. Now, the risk profile is less than 1%, so it's a very safe procedure, but there are some risks involved. What are the outcomes of celiac plexus blocks? Well, 75% of patients receive excellent pain relief from these injections for all types of chronic abdominal pain. You know, and this includes everything we just discussed that it's indicated for, and that was a decent sized study in, in the year 2000. Oftentimes, a series of injections is necessary, and this may be um, every few weeks, you know, upwards of 10 injections, sometimes two. Uh, it just depends on how the patient does. Sometimes they'll get weeks of pain relief, sometimes months. And another study looked at how much reduction in pain medications these injections are able to allow for, and it is significant. Um, a lot of times opiate medications don't work very well for abdominal pain, and they also can cause complications such as constipation, addiction, tolerance. So these can reduce the needs for that, and it can do well with repeat uh, procedure when it wears off. The top pain management clinics in the Valley are Arizona pain specialists. Currently they have seven locations. They're really our one-stop shop. They have pain management doctors doing medications, interventional procedures, chiropractors, acupuncture, spinal decompression therapy, uh, PT, a whole gamut. They accept over 50 insurances. The docs are board, board certified and have won the Patient's Choice Award five years in a row. For scheduling, call 602-507. 6550 and visit us on the web at preferredpaincenter.com. I'm Dr. David Green with the Arizona Pain Network. Your pain stops here.